glass. Welcome to the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas. Now this year, I've been all over the world, passing F1 circuits left, right and centre, but I haven't actually had the chance to attend an F1 race until today, because Pirelli, who are a Drive the World partner, have hooked me up and set up an insane VIP weekend here at the US Grand Prix. This is a circuit I have always wanted to visit. It looks amazing on TV, usually leads to exciting races, and this is the scene where Lewis Hamilton could potentially clinch his sixth world championship. So yes, I am riding high. This also feels like a bit of a celebration of sort of the US leg of Drive the World, which has been mega. So yeah, we flew in yesterday, we're flying back out after the race. I'm excited for an awesome weekend ahead. I've upgraded my hat game. What do you think? Not to say the Pirelli cap was bad, but I felt like this was more fitting for Texas. But anyway, you may have just seen a clip of Lewis walking straight past me, going up into the paddock club. And what was hilarious, so I was coming downstairs and there was this, this huge line of people waiting outside the Mercedes motorhome to see what's going on. And I was asking what's, what's happening and everyone said we're waiting for Lewis. And amazingly, he had security, he had press, all these people fussing over his alleyway to the paddock club. In fact, even somebody came out saying, uh, can we just make sure that these gates are open so Lewis can walk straight through. It's a big operation. He is most definitely, I would say, the star of this paddock when it comes to the US Grand Prix. Not always the most popular guy, but here people still go nuts. Anyway, I'm gonna take my new cowboy hat and go explore. Walking through the car park, and there's a road legal McLaren P1 GTR here. Yes, road legal P1 GTR. You now find me in the Pirelli garage in the actual Formula One pit lane. The Williams garage is right next door. In fact, you can hear some of the wheel guns going off every now and then. But one of the coolest things that Pirelli have hooked up for me this weekend is a hot lapse experience. It's kind of a new thing at Grand Prix. I think it started last year. But anyway, basically it gives the opportunity for some members of the public to experience the circuit in an actual road car. So I think Mercedes take part, McLaren, Aston Martin, even Lamborghini as well. Uh, so yes, today, I'm going to be jumping in a Mercedes AMG GTR, I think, or GTS, we'll find out in a second, with Esteban Ocon. Those of you who are, aren't up to speed, he was driving with Force India previously. This year he's Mercedes test and reserve driver, and next year he's making his return with Renault. So yes, I'm going to be heading out onto a Formula 1 track with a Formula 1 driver. I'm gonna do a name drop and two years ago I went in the car with Vettel. You scared the life out of me. Really? And I got like mad views on YouTube. <laughs> so the pressure is now on for you. No problem. You gotta you gotta go even further. I and will I will do my best. If I don't pass out, we fail. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's do that in first corner. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Ready? It's like we're driving up a mountain. Oh. Especially here, look the bump. When are we breaking? When are we... Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh, now we're falling down the mountain. <laughs> it's I wasn't like expecting a the bumps. Yeah. I wasn't expecting the bumps. Bit of sideways. Oh my god. What? This is insane. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we've made it through the, the vomit section, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I am regretting the eggs I had for breakfast, but we'll keep going. Look at the bump down, the exit. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Is that not a back break? You're in a Formula 1 car? You're right? I'm a surviving, I think. I went quiet for a section, but I'm back. You're surviving? <laughs> really? Not even Dude, a bit of fun. This is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sad we haven't got cars around us. Don't you miss racing? Yeah. Yeah, man. We're going to be dancing around. This track is awesome. It's awesome, man. Oh my god, it's so good. It's just not breaking. Okay. Yeah, those are the 
those eggs I ate. Huh? It's not bad on track, this car, is no, it? No, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. For a road car, you don't have much better. God, the power is insane. I drove this on road at once, and I definitely didn't get anywhere near this point of its abilities. <laughs> right, I take it as a compliment. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing yeah. good, you're doing good. <laughs> I'll try for the bump there. Okay. Massive as well. It's not always been like this, no? These are new, the bumps. Well, yeah, the track has changed. From when you were racing, it was smooth. <laughs> Those were the curves. Those were the curves. <laughs> Two. Well, I'm hoping we're going to get more views than the better video, because that was freaking awesome. It's been a pleasure, man. Dude, thank pleasure. you very much. I can't wait to see you back in a car next year, buddy. Thank you. This is too freaking cool. Wow. I need to go lie down and maybe have a strong drink. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of it. Thanks, man. My God, <laughs> that was absolutely unreal. But the thing that blew me away, the bumps. I know a lot of drivers have been complaining about it this year, but they are horrific. And if you saw, if you got an idea of how vicious they were in a road car, imagine a Formula One car where you're sitting that far off the ground. But anyway, Aston Ocon, what an absolute legend, what a joker. Uh, I kind of hope that the video does as well as my Vettel videos do, just because I think he deserves it, because he's just a friendly guy. Um, so yeah, unreal. And now I'm off to do a Ferrari garage tour. I'm not actually allowed to film that, uh, but I'm going to enjoy it. And then I need to go and sit down, because yes, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> time fast approaching and I've come back out to the sort of paddock club balcony where I can look over the paddock. I do actually have uh, paddock passes as well this weekend but the view up here is better for spotting drivers and team principals and celebs. Now today as I mentioned is the day where Lewis Hamilton could claim his sixth drivers world championship. By the time this video is out you'll know if he's done it or not. It's kind of a weird one. Um, I'm a very big Lewis fan, but I have to say the last few years when he's been so dominant, he's not been as exciting to watch as in previous years because he's just out the front. Today, he's qualified fifth, and knowing his mentality from previous years, he does like to win the race to win the championship. So, fingers crossed, this ends up being an epic, and he wins, races away to the front and wins the championship. Apart from that, I'm on the lookout for Lando Norris, one of my favorite up-and-coming drivers, uh, Daniel Ricciardo, uh, Charles Leclerc, I don't know, I'm watching everything, I'm having a great time, but yeah, for now, I'm still out here looking out for drivers and celebs, as uh, this race seems to be attracting a fair few American recognizable faces. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes. Champion, champion of the world once again, Lewis Hamilton. I think my reaction almost as subdued as his. Disappointingly subdued celebrations I found from Lewis. I mean, I guess after a while you just get used to it, don't you, when you're winning that many championships and in a row. Uh, quite an exciting race. You know, awesome to be able to watch it where well, I was watching it, but apart from the last few laps, it was a race of strategy, which is Formula One most of the, most of the times. But insane that those bumps I experienced with Ocon and that particular one, which kind of threw me out of my seat, ended up breaking Vettel's suspension. Absolutely nuts. Uh, but yeah, all in all, it's been, a, it's been a sort of season of many different stories. I feel like at times it's, uh, it's been exciting at times. It's been a bit dull. Um, there was a really strong patch, wasn't there? Sort of that mid first half. But anyway, season's not actually over, uh, and I'm going to be attending the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, which is the season finale in a few weeks' time. But with Hamilton crown champion, which we kind of all saw coming, the competitive element of the championship pretty much done. But anyway, still really exciting and really strong from Lando Norris, Danny Ricciardo, people like that. And uh, I'm now heading back to my rental car and back to the airport because we are literally flying in about an hour. So I'm actually running a bit late. I need to get a move on. Uh, but yeah, huge thanks to Pirelli. What an awesome experience. Arguably the best access I've ever had at a Grand Prix because sometimes you're lucky enough to get invited to the Paddock Club, which I say is super expensive, crazy tickets. Sometimes you get lucky enough to get invited to the actual Paddock, but very rarely both. Then the access with the hot laps and all these different elements have been amazing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. I really regret wearing this big jacket now because it's got really hot out of nowhere. Make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.